In the morning when I get up and start a new day, there are times that I ask myself, what if? Sometimes it's a thought that I haven't finished last night. Sometimes that thought was a memory from my high school or even earlier where people in my life told me that I was weird, awkward, or just not normal. Because I love Japan and kimono and I wanted to wear kimono. But what if I wasn't into kimono? What if I wasn't weird? For sure, I still would have super sensitive and super dry skin and I would still need up to five products that will help me to bring my skin through the day without becoming itchy. I, by the way, very often was told I was awkward because I brought parasols wherever I went in summer because I didn't want to get a tan. Well, even if I wasn't weird, and I wanted that tan, by now, I would have to admit that I can't get a tan. But when we talk about cosmetics, I think makeup would change a lot. Before starting to dress in kimono, I did not care a lot about makeup. And generally, less was more. I, by the way, didn't use any makeup until I turned 15 and I was one of the last in class to start. Today, I can't think of living without makeup, but there are also many, 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 many days I don't wear makeup and even go outside. Well, makeup and me is a complicated relationship and that will never change. Not even in a parallel universe where I would be normal. Using less time on makeup and hair means I would have more time. Because, let's admit it, getting ready in a kimono or for a kimono takes a lot of time. But having just more time would not mean that I would be more efficient in my everyday life, neither would I get more things done. I think quite the opposite would be the fact. When I wear kimono, I spend most time on my hair and makeup than actually the kimono. It's time for me to calm down and concentrate on myself. It's also a way to get to know yourself better. By now, I exactly know what kind of hairstyles flatters me and what not. And this was a long, long way with lots of errors. I am glad that I took that time every day to find out what looks good on me. Because then you can have that good hair day confidence boost every single day and not just occasionally. Just try it, take your time and try it. Okay. What should I wear today? Hmm. Putting an outfit together definitely takes more thought when wearing kimono. And I found out that this is what I enjoy most. This week was Obon in Japan, which means we're now facing straight into autumn, disregarding the heat that will let us suffer for a few more months. After Obon, you should make the people around you feel that summer will go to an end eventually. So darker colors and autumn themed motifs are okay from now on. Well, I mean, dressing in a kimono itself takes a while and even with layering up western clothes, or yofuku as I call them, they are way faster to put on. And yes, I would definitely layer up every clothes I wear. I'm not sure if I do that because I'm weird, but I do this since forever and I will not stop even if some people told me it was awkward to wear more layers than necessary true story happened. Well, layering up is actually what was done throughout history to show modesty. 
And did I mention that it's supposed to be probably dressed? There were times in my life when I wished I could be confident enough in my body to wear those way too short shorts that were trend in the 2000s, remember? But now I think layers make me more confident and shows the garments so much better. No, you don't have to show your body when you're not confident with it. And that should be fine. Layering up is trend, guys. Ask the fabulous Tan about it. I think he says layer up in mostly every Queer Eye episode. And while my normal me would still not be able to close that stupid button on the back, the weird me has almost yoga-like flexibility and fixes even her otaiko on the back without any problems. Yes, kimono dressing is my daily yoga and you probably wouldn't believe me how flexible I got when you haven't experienced it by yourself. probably wouldn't hate the normal me. I mean, she has great taste with that dress, although I like the kimono version a little better. And she definitely should put her hair up. It would look so much better with that button up. I love how kimono makes me feel when I wear it. I love how it changes my posture and gestures. I really don't want to miss that in my life. I'm happy that I took the step, moved to Japan, became serious with kimono. Because to be honest, would you be here if this wasn't a kimono channel? And would you actually watch that normal boring Billy's videos? I am 100% sure you wouldn't be here if I wouldn't do kimono. And I want to thank Kimono to give me the chance to get to know you, who are also awesome people and probably ask me a little weird in some way. By the way, for me, weird and awkward is actually a compliment because it just shows that I'm better than the standard. <laughs> and I hope you stick around a little longer on my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. My channel usually has a little different content but this August is supposed to be a little special because I have a lot of special content going up this month and I'll be looking forward to that and yeah thanks for being here and I talk to you in my next video bye